Okay, uh, today we're working on an uh, on an interesting case. This is a MacBook uh, Air 2015. The model of the logic board is A20001658. Um, and um, for no reason it stopped working. That's what the customer uh, is claiming. And uh, we opened it up, inspected the motherboard on both sides a really clean board, no liquid uh, marks of, you know, at least we couldn't find any at all. We did not do the ultrasonic cleaning on it, um, just like visual inspection, very close up inspection of the um, components and around BGAs, uh, the this one and, and a couple of these. Nothing really that stands out, it's a pretty clean board. So uh, there is a green light, um, um, or orange light when you plug it in, but nothing happens. And um, one thing we noticed um, when um, we use this uh, FLIR, um, how do you call it, the thermal camera, so we can actually see the hot areas or hot spots. So it's made for an iPhone 5. Uh, there are these models available for iPhone 6, I think. Um, so when you open the app, um, okay, now yeah, low battery, Flur. So you open the app, you have to toggle this thing on and off. So you see it's connected. So the current is going through the motherboard. And it's actually see in the middle it gives you the reading so I can see the the whole board and I can see a couple of hot spots right so let's get close to one of them and see up oh, sometimes when you move too fast it loses that calibration so I need to pull that little tab on the on the back so we see that here this one little f um, fuse is pretty hot let's see um a hundred and yeah, hundred and twenty seven fahrenheit so um but we saw another spot right let's check that one out and this one is one twenty three one twenty five it's I guess it's probably rising temperature well maybe not 125 definitely a hot uh, one so let's see which one that would be yeah I usually like like pointing um, with a, a plastic uh, stick on the actual camera to see exactly which component we're talking about and that's this that must be the fat um, one of the gates I think for the uh, main line for the power supply for the chip so so that's this side right we saw that problem and this problem so let's flip it upside down and see if we can spot anything else um, yeah there's some hot areas in here so let's point to this one it's like a hundred four that would be the ISL chip, the, the charging chip, ISL 60, uh, 6259. It, it's probably going to be good because it's, it's operational. It's working, so it's in, it's in normal operational temperature. Let's look a little further down here. And we got a little bit of a, a hot spot here as well. But... You see, it's only 107 degrees, and that would be coming from, from actually from this guy. You see, one actually, yeah, the temperature went up a little bit, close to 130. So that would this heat would be caused by that um, by that chip uh, being so hot. So there's a few things that we want to do now. Is um, I would. Again, we didn't do any voltage readings or anything, you know. So that's the that's the power of this tool is is it basically tells you what's what's hot. And sometimes when the component is like 
200 uh, Fahrenheit, then it's definitely short. In this case, like this um, uh, fuse, all that chip is not that crazy hot, although it still might mean that um, they're burned. So I would uh, first see what, what we read on this, maybe just the continuity, if the, if the fuse is still uh, okay or if it's blown. Maybe it is blown because of this thing is blown, because they're, they're both uh, sitting on the 12.6 volt line um, that's um, coming from, you know, that's the coil for that one. So if that one is shorted, maybe it shorted this one somehow, and that's why it's getting hot. I un unlikely, but we can we can uh, really do some some quick uh, res resistant measurement and see uh, what it is. So here's the multimeter. Power is unplugged. Rule number one. So let's just uh, put it into the ohm meter. We got the meter running and this um, fuse is okay so um, I believe it would be this guy we can do uh, one of the two things we can either like ring the resistances and, and, and do some testing or we can just plain replace it or even remove it for now and see actually let me read the actual um, line to the ground yeah you see right now it doesn't look good so I'm, I'm reading the actual the main power line for the uh, processor and what do we see oh, come on give me ground and we see uh, a dead short So uh, I'm hoping it's this thing because it might as well be the actual chip. If that's the chip, then obviously it, it makes no sense to fix that board. Um, but if it's the only the gate, then you know replacing that will take two minutes and we're going to fix the board. So let's remove that chip real quick, unsolder that, and let's... Um, then uh, measure the resistance to the ground for this line. Okay. Okay, so, um, sorry, my microscope camera is out of water today, so I did it off camera. So I just, as you see, I removed the actual component. I haven't measured the thing yet, just wanted to do it on camera. Uh, let's see if we got any improvement. So I'm measuring the line on the ground and it's still the same so that will tell me that most likely this chip took a dive and uh, repairing this board would not make sense it has to be replaced altogether yeah so we can still plug in the cord And um, it's still going to be hot a little bit in this area. So I don't think we'd be able to see much. Here you see there's no like definite spot of uh, the short of the glow anymore let's read the voltage on that 12 volt line right now and uh, we get 8.6 well yeah and macbooks air have 8.6 and it's the pros uh, that have the 12.6 so we get 8.6 stable no jumping no pulsating nothing and of course here we're gonna have nothing we're probably gonna have 3.3 .3 volt and no 5 volt 
Yeah, right. No 5 volt. Yeah, that's 3.3 .3 volt coil. That's 5 volt coil. Nothing here. And of course, everything past that point is not going to be present. Um, because there's a major short on the on the line. So there's nothing that's heating up anymore. That component is probably bad too, anyways, but um, and that's the the ISL. Still still under hundred degrees. Oh probably my battery died. Yeah, this gen this area is just generally warm, but it's not nothing's hot. So I'd say that um, this is a no go because of the short of the chip. And I'm sure if I if I just you know we can we can confirm that by soldering the or injecting basically uh, some current into the line into the shorter line and I can read it with the same you know with the same tool and it's gonna most likely again in some cases it's really hard to warm this chip up to the point where you can see the actual glow because it can withstand so much current so but some in some cases you would have a little like uh, increase in temperature as soon as you um, uh, feed some power, some current into the line. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do it here because it looks like a bit of a waste of time for me, but um, um, that's it. At least we've uh, pinpointed the short in like a matter of what, five minutes, less, four minutes. We remove the chip, the short is gone, there's no heat I mean the short is not gone but at least nothing is heating up anymore um, but yet the the chip is in a dead short to the ground so that completes this video thanks for watching and stay tuned subscribe to our channel as well thank you bye